worship you, O Lord. I worship you, sweet Jesus. You alone are worthy. I worship you, O Lord. I worship you, sweet Jesus. You alone are worthy. Blessings to each and every one of you. I greet you in no other name but in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the one who came and died for our sins. We were redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So I greet you in that name, the powerful name, the name above any other names at the mention of that name. Every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that he is God. Hallelujah. So I greet you. I greet you in that wonderful name. It is indeed a pleasure for, to be here once again on Prophetic Wednesday. And we know that something is happening. Something is, is bursting. Something is given birth. Hallelujah. I bring greetings from Rehoboth Ministries, Bel Air St. Vincent and the Grenadines under the leadership of Apostle Andrew John, hallelujah, and Pastor Cassandra John, blessed be the name of the Most High God. And today is a good day, hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it, hallelujah. I want to speak to us today about declarations. Declarations are very important in this season. Hallelujah. And before we get into the word of God, before we do anything else, let us bow our hearts and come before the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords in a time of prayer and thanksgiving. Most heavenly Father, we give you praise. We thank you, O oh Most High God, for another day, another Wednesday, O oh God. We thank you, Almighty God, that we could come before you and ask of anything, and it shall be given unto us. Hallelujah. We thank you for protection over our lives and the lives of our loved ones. We thank you for making a way where there seem to be no way in our lives, O oh God. Father and God, as I go through this time, Lord God, how many, how much time will be allowed? I will be allowed to do, Father and God. I thank you, Almighty God, for placing the right words, placing the right declaration in my spirit, Mighty God. That your people, oh God, who are watching, Lord God, will be blessed by your words in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for every heart uh, that will be viewing almighty god i pray lord god that when he has your word come forth uh, almighty god it will be sharper uh, like uh, any two-edged sword almighty father it will bring persons uh, in alignment it will bring uh, clarity lord god it will bring revelation uh, in the name of jesus christ and i pray oh god that, that hearts will be blessed uh, lord god and they will go out and be a change agent almighty god they will be change agents for the kingdom of God and the ones who doesn't know you as Lord and Savior of their life. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that they will give you a try. They will come to that place, that realization. Oh God, that where, 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 where they cannot do anything on this face of the earth without you being in the midst. You are the victorious God. You are the great and dreadful God and mighty God. We give you praise because you are the one that that elect and you are the one that pull down you are the one that build up and you are the one that tear down you are the one that says let there be and there was hallelujah so we are not uh, praying to a god that doesn't hear we are praying to a god that is always around that always in our midst uh, we are praying to a god today that knows our hearts and bless us uh, according to what how he see fit hallelujah and, and and i am i am happy and i'm grateful that my life is in the palm of a powerful God, the one who make all things, 
all things right uh, make the impossible possible and today we, we I, I am coming to you in that name in no other name no other name no other name no other power is greater than the power of God nothing good would he hold back from us according to his word hallelujah hallelujah so we give God praise we give God praise for he is mighty he is great he is the commander in chief he is Jehovah Nisi he is our banner he is Jehovah Shama today he is omnipresent he is the God almighty he is the God of power hallelujah and we know when we come before him and we make our petition known, he will answer in every way possible. Hallelujah. His will for your life, his will for my life will not be frustrated for he is never late, but he is always on time. He's an on time God. Our timing is not his timing. Our ways are not his ways. Hallelujah. And today, as I, as I discuss with you briefly, and we are going to go into a time of declaration and prayers because there are some things in our lives that unless you make decrees and unless you declare it, it will not manifest itself. Hallelujah. You have to declare the word of God over your life every day. As you wake up in the morning, it's important to declare the word of God over your life. Command your morning command your day command your night uh, that the elements of this earth will not uh, be 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 will not smite you, will not be wrong to you. The elements of this earth will speak on your behalf. The moon will not smite you by night, nor the sun by day, but they will work on your behalf in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. God is good and his mercies endure it for all. His mercy endure it for all everlasting and upon everlasting and with him we breathe with him we move with him there is life and life that in abundance hallelujah hallelujah and today's today's scripture is taken from Matthew 16 13 to, to verse 20 but before we go there I want to give you some a few points about declaration how important it is to make declaration based on the word of God. It's important because as believers, as we go through this life, it is important to declare the word of God, what God says about you, not what people say about you. And too many times we, we, we come in, in a place where we, we only live based on what people say. The devil is a liar. What man say about you is not your final story, but what God says about you is very important. And you need to declare the word of God over your life. Hallelujah. And according to Proverbs 18 and verse 21, we did, it says that death and life is in the power of your tongue. And those who live it will eat its fruit. So if you are constantly declaring death into every situation, declaring negativity, then you will eat that fruit. But if you declare life, if you declare prosperity, if you declare healing, if you constantly declare the breakthrough of the most high God, then you will eat of that. Hallelujah, somebody. I am trying to change somebody's mindset. The way in which you think about yourself is, is what you will get out of it. We, we as believers, we need to think the way God think about us. Not the way men see us, not the way men think about us, but what we think about ourselves based upon the word of God. Hallelujah. We got to speak the purpose of God in our lives. We got to speak the, the, the purpose of God in our family's life, in, in our children, in our situation, in our ministries. Not only speak it for yourself, but declare it over your ministry, declare it over your leaders, declare it constantly and it will manifest itself. Hallelujah. And it, it, this is the second point. The word propel us to experience all that Jesus won for us. Hallelujah. 
When you declare the word over your life, it will propel you to come into that alignment of God. It will propel you to receive the, the treasures. It will, it will propel you to live in goodness. It will propel the mercies of God to be upon your life and the life of your household and hallelujah and Matthew 12 and 37 you read that and you will get exactly what the word of God is saying hallelujah declaration is is an instrument is, in, is supposed to be instrumental for us it will help us to enter into the, the promised land into enter into the promises of God hallelujah the, the, the word of God says according to, 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 to Joshua 1 and 8, this book of law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. And for it, and it will make your way prosperous. Hallelujah. Decree, decree, decree. It is important that you, you start to make declaration. You got to speak it. You got to declare it all the time. Decree it. I will live and not die. I will, I am blessed and cannot be cursed. My, my going out is blessed and my coming in is blessed. My children are blessed. My children will be excellent children. My children will, will fear God. Continue to declare and decree those things over your life and there will be a manifestation. Hallelujah. Decoration help us to call those things that are not as though they are. Amen. Declaration helps us to call those things that are not as though they are. And the word of God says, as it is written, I have made you a father of many nations. That was Abraham. Hmm. In the presence of him who he believes, God will make your, your decoration become manifested as you decree it. Hallelujah. Decorations are the way to overcome an anxiety and become bold. When you decree that I am, I am not, I, I don't have the spirit of fear. I have the spirit of boldness because God has given me the spirit of boldness to overcome. When you make those decree and over your life and everybody else concerning you into your business, uh, things will become manifested. Things that, that was, was lacking in your life, uh, things that were stagnant in your life, declare the word of God over that situation. Uh, and I am telling you by the word of God, those same dead things will become life again. When, when, when the when, when the word of God says to the prophet, can these dry bones live again? You will you will be able to ask those questions with boldness. Can I make it again? After I would have been through all that happened to me before sickness, uh, I was I was struck down. I was left alone to die. Loneliness take me over. The bank sell my property. My finance, uh, there is a hole in my bank account. Can I live again to proclaim the word of God? Can, can my decoration speak for me and become manifested in my life again? Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm feeling a spirit of God even now. Hallelujah. Your breakthrough is waiting upon your declaration in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So I leave those points with you. I leave those points with you for you to go back and sit down in your quiet moment and, and let God, let the Holy Spirit guide you into all truth. Hallelujah. And in Matthew 16, 13 and verse 20, when Jesus came to the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciple, who do people say that the son of man is? Well, they reply, some say John the Baptist, some say Elijah, and others say 
Jeremiah, or one of the other prophets. Then he asked them, who, but who do you say I am? Simon Peter answered, you are the Messiah, the son of the living God. Jesus replied, you are blessed, Simon, son of John, because my father in heaven has revealed this to you. You did not learn this from any human being. Verse 18, now I say to you that you are Peter, which means rock. Upon this rock, I will build my church and all the powers or gates of hell will not conquer or will not prevail against it. And I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. And whatever you permit on earth will be permitted in heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's the word of God. And it was a declaration. Because when you make declaration based on the word of God, God will listen, he will hear, he will know, he will understand, and he will establish that declaration. Because Peter, did, the declaration didn't come from Peter himself. It didn't came from anybody else. It came from heaven. And because of that, because of that declaration, Jesus said, upon that declaration, I will build my church upon your declaration of the most high God over your life. God will establish it. And the word of God says, we got the key. The keys to heaven where we could lock and unlock some things. Whatever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatever we loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. What are you de declaring today? What is your declaration today? Is it of God or is it not of God? Many a time, sometimes we use the word of God to declare negative things over the lives of others. But that's not what the word of God is there for. It's to make positive decree. Not only over your life, but the lives of others. The Bible says you're supposed to, in, F, in all things, you're supposed to live good with each other. The Bible also declares that when you decree a thing, it shall be established. But you have a decree based on the word of God. You cannot make negative declaration and expect God could come in agreement with that there was an agreement on Peter's declaration of who of, of, of his announcement his statement of who Jesus is hallelujah and based on that Jesus knew that Peter did not come up with that on his own. When you are making declaration, God will know. Your declaration is supposed to meet heaven. And it's supposed to bear fruit. Because upon that declaration, hallelujah, the church was established. And the gates of hell shall not and will not prevail against it. What is upon your declaration? Is being established. What it is that is manifesting based on your declaration. Hallelujah somebody. When you declare a thing. There have to be a manifestation. It, 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 there is there's no, no if, but and maybe about it. So in this season when you are making declaration. Make sure that your declaration is coming from the source. Hallelujah. And that's the word of God. Because God establish or he made manifestation based on your decree. And that is what Jesus did based on Peter's announcement. That upon this declaration, the church will be established upon this rock. The declaration was a rock. Your decoration needs to be solid. 
when you are making declaration it gotta be solid declaration that's why it cannot be declaration based on your own feelings it cannot be declaration based on what you think it gotta be declaration based upon the word of god and that declaration will bear fruit because your tongue is a weapon that could start a fire and it could out a fire so you have to be able to use it wisely to declare the things that come from the throne room of heaven hallelujah somebody need to change the way you speak and start to declare that which needs to manifest itself in your life hallelujah when you declare something, the decoration comes, as I said earlier in one of the points I would have given you, that decoration helps you to, to, to call that thing that is not as though it is. Hallelujah. And in Romans 4, 17, you could, you could go there and you could find that. When you declare that thing, you are bringing God's method. God's method of life is coming into the situation. You are, you are establishing a declaration based on the word of God. It means you are coming in agreement with the plan and the purpose of God for your life. You got to declare it. And upon your declaration, God will establish his promise over your life. Upon your declaration, it's supposed to be solid, substantial. It's supposed to be heavy because when, when when jesus said upon this rock a rock is a solid something it's solid substance and upon this rock i will establish my church i will build my church upon your declaration god will establish his truth because you are declaring the word of god stop declaring things Based on how your emotion, how you feel up and down, you're anxious. Stop making declarations based on that. Make declaration based upon the word of God over your life. When you, when you decree, according to Isaiah 54 and 17, that no weapon formed nor fashioned against you shall prosper. And every tongue rise up in judgment. You have condemned it. That's a solid declaration and when you make that declaration the gates of hell cannot prevail over your lives nor the lives of your loved one nor the life of your ministry nor the life of anything concerning you when you make that declaration and i want you to get it because when you make a declaration based on the word of god it says in john 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 chapter one in the beginning was the word and the word was with God. Your declaration needs to be word that is already with God. Hallelujah, somebody. And, and the word became flesh. It was a manifestation of the word of God that became flesh. So when you decree a thing, it's supposed to become flesh. There is a manifestation of it. If you decree negative, if you decree negative word, negative manifestation will come to you. Hence the reason sometimes the church, the body of Christ, we cannot progress. Because our declaration is not of God. We decree things based on how we see fit. Not based on the word of God. What is your declaration today? How are you using the word to bring a blessing in somebody else's life? Are you making decree that the church that you are attending is established upon the rock and the gates of hell will not prevail? Or are you decreeing that just now something is going to happen and all hell is going to break loose. What is your declaration? Because the word of God says that the believer, the tongue, the tongue, your tongue is a weapon. And it could start a fire or it could shut a fire down. It could speak life or it could speak death. Are you speaking?
speaking life in your situation? Are you speaking life in, your, in, in the lives of your loved ones, in the lives of your neighbors, even if the neighbor is disgruntled? Even if the neighbor is one that will pest you every day, start to speak life. So in the name of Jesus Christ, my neighbors will come in alignment with the word of God. Decree it that your neighbors, if they are not serving God, declare that by the end of July, they will start to serve God. They will have an encounter with the most high God. That whatever, whatever they choose to do that is not of God, they will not progress. Let blessings come out of your mouth. Let the word of God become so fruitful. That when you speak, you cannot speak anything else but blessing. You cannot speak anything else but goodness. You cannot speak anything else but abundance. And sometimes the enemy will want to put words in our mouth to go and speak negative over this person or speak negative over your situation. The enemy will want you to use your word, the word that the Lord gave you to speak negatively because that is what the plan of the enemy is. It's always to make good things look bad or good things to turn bad. But in the name of Jesus Christ, we know that the devil is a liar. We know that he has no place. We know that we, we, there's no room in our vessels for him so he cannot stay. Nothing that would that he do or trying to do will be established in your life because you are making a decree today by the power of almighty God that whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatever you loose on earth shall be loose in heaven so why don't you start to make decree that will be a futuristic thing sometimes your decoration will not manifest immediately that is why you always have to make sure that when you're making decrees, it gotta be godly decrees. It gotta be decrees of substantial. It gotta be decree of solid solidness. Your, your decree gotta be solid because when it's time for that decoration to manifest itself, whatever it is you decree, it will come at you. Hallelujah. It will come at you. So today, as you listen to the word of God, as you, hear, as, as, as you listen and as you hear the word, I don't want you to just listen to the word. I want you to hear the word. And I want the word to manifest itself in your life, in the life of your loved ones. Too long, you have been in a situation that all that you need to do is just decree it. Call those things as though they are, as though they, as though they are not, as though they are. Start to decree those things. You might not see it immediately, but it's decree for the future because when Jesus says, upon this rock, I will build my church upon the declaration of who he is, he established his church. So you cannot go and decree anything outside of that establishment. The church today, the body of Christ today have the keys to unlock certain things. We cannot be victims of our bad declaration. We gotta be victors of the good and positive declaration that comes from our mouth. So as of today, start making decrees that will be established not only in your life for the future, but in the lives of everyone that is around you. Because everyone have divine helpers. And when you speak negative <laughs> over people's lives, and when you make negative decrees, you don't know who you are making it. Because God will have that same individual to stand with you as a divine helper. Make positive declarations. 
Make declaration that when you open your mouth and you start to decree, that heaven hear your decree and earth respond to it. Make declaration, hallelujah, that when you step, step out into the world, your decree that you make in closed doors, God will establish it publicly. Make declarations that when anything around you seem to go bad and start to shake, your declaration will start to speak for you, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Decree and declare. Declare that this year 2020, despite coronavirus and the pandemic, you declare that you will eat during famine. You will be successful. You will sow in a time like this. So you will be able to reap a hundred folds. You gotta make decrees. God is the one that gives seed to the sower. Not because you're going through a pandemic means you can't play your tithes. Don't shoot me down. We all want something from God. We want him to establish us. And we want to make our decrees and our declarations unto the most high God. But there is, not, there is no substance there. Your time is too important for you to spend in the house of the Lord. Well, right now we know that some churches are closed, but you could still do stuff. You could still be a watchman on the fence. You could still be an intercessor praying the leadership through. Praying the man and the woman of God true. Praying people true. Praying for sickness. Praying that God heal. Declare, de declare that healing will come to your nation. Now is the time when your declaration got to be solid. Because everything seemed to be falling apart. But the church has been built upon a rock. Has been built upon something solid of who God is. Nothing could shake that. So now is the time. This is a set time, the set season when your declaration got to be kingdom declaration. So that there will be manifestation of the goodness of God, manifestation of his mercies manifestation of his glory over our lives hallelujah somebody hallelujah you gotta decree it you got to declare it hallelujah it is it is the said time yes holy ghost it is the said time the right season to start to declare that even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, Makarabo City, I will fear no evil. That's my declaration. Lakarabo Sunday. Thou anointed my head with oil for this season. My cup will run it over. Karabo Sata. Surely goodness and mercy will follow me. And my household all the days of my life. That's my decree. That's my declaration for my life and the life of my loved ones. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, my God. Thou prepared a table before me in this season in the presence of my enemies. It means that it doesn't matter what corona come or corona go. It don't matter what pandemic come or pandemic go. Thou preparest a table before us, before me, before you in the presence of corona, in the presence of any upset, in the presence of confusion. And he will anoint your head with oil in the presence of anything. And your, the oil will run down. There will be an overflow in the season as you make your decree. I prophesy an overflow in this season as you make your decree and your declaration according to the will and the purpose of 
God for your life. Somebody need to get on board. Somebody need to come in alignment. Somebody need to tell God I am I have had enough of this. Give me the right words to declare and I will declare because his words declare or his word says that whatever I decree it shall be established. Hallelujah. And the gates of hell shall not prevail because we are the church. The gates of hell shall not prevail against us my God what is your declaration this day I feel the Holy Ghost somebody need to start to open your mouth and make decree there is no silence declaration you gotta open your mouth and decree the word of God into that sick situation you are not sick but you are healed sickness is far from your vessel declare it walk in your anointing declare that as you walk in your anointing God will establish you declare that you will be a humble servant unto the most high God make your decree it don't matter who interfere with you forget about what people say about you and start to decree that you will be fruitful in this land and God will bless you according to your declaration hallelujah make your decrees Speak open heaven. Speak that you are in the gates of an open heaven. Decree it up that the gates of hell will not prevail and doors up will be open unto you. Speak it. Speak it according to the word of God. Declare it. My God. Somebody is getting help right now. You've been saying the wrong things. Because you've been going around in a circle for so long. But the word of God came today to tell you that your declarations need to be need to change. You need to go into the word of God. Go back to the scriptures and see the word. See where you're supposed to use the word of God to make your decree. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Declare according to Psalms 24 and verse 7. Lift up your head. Oh, he gates be lifted up. You ancient doors that the king of glory may come in. Declare the word of God that the king of glory will step into your situation. The king of glory will ride in into every circumstance. Give it a try by believers. Declare Declare, yes, I know some of us are making declarations, you know. I am aware. Because as a believer of Christ, you're supposed to know to make declarations. But sometimes our declarations are not on point because of what is happening in our lives. Our emotions are getting the best of us. We get anxious. The word of God says be anxious for nothing. But in everything with prayer and supplication, make your petition known. We get very anxious and we get very agitated and, and upset. And, that, and the amount of energy that we are using to get upset is preventing us to make declaration based on the season that we are in. Because sometimes your season right now is for you to, is a harvest season and you're supposed to be the laborer in the vineyard. But instead of that, uh, you are listening to whatever people might want to say. And it's, it's not allowing you to make the declaration that you will be a good laborer in the vineyard so you could reap your harvest. Because the enemy knows how to get some of us sometimes. And then we turn back and we use our mouth to speak negative about somebody that's supposed to also be in the, in the vineyard laboring with us. I'm not somebody who play games with the word of God. So I will tell you as it is because I know and I have lived to see my declarations to the most high God has come to pass and still coming to pass because I use my tongue wisely 
I use it to bring blessing and not curse. Because if the word of God says, God will curse those who curse, you don't need to declare nothing else. That's the word of God. And God, he is omniscient and omnipresent and he knows everything that goes on. He wants us to make positive declaration. So today as I leave you with that, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that you will, your declaration, the way you speak will change. It don't matter how much you are having a headache. Stop saying that this headache will kill me because you will die. That's your declaration over your life. You need to change your word and says, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command this discomfort that's going on in my head to receive the fire of God, to become the footstool of my father in heaven. Stop decreeing and declaring things over your children's life because there come a time when it will manifest itself and you will not like it. And then you will want to say that people are saying things negatively, but it's your word. And as parents, may I use this time to warn you that whatever you speak over the lives of your children, that is exactly what they will walk into. Stop saying it as a baby, the baby licorice, the baby in licorice. Baby is supposed to be, fee, be fed a, a, about five or ten, ten minutes of every in, 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 in every time in, within an hour, the baby's supposed to be fed within three or four times in that hour. It's a baby, and it might sound simple or look simple, and you laugh about it, but stop declaring those things over your children's life because the baby will grow up as a as a licorice baby. And then you will turn back and say, how it is that this child is, is so greedy? You are the one that speak the word of a child's life. And it looks simple. And we all laughed about it. But I come to tell you, the servant of the most high God today, that we need to stop it as believers in the kingdom of God. You know that you have to pay your bills. Not, don't say you don't have any money to pay your bills. You have money to pay your bills. Go and pay your bills. Because if you keep declaring that you don't have any money, you will not have any money. We got to be able to walk in the fruitfulness of God. His words declare over his life that he will satisfy all our needs. All of our needs according to his riches and glory. Declare the word of God that he will satisfy all of your needs and the needs of your children according to the riches, his riches in glory. That's the word of God. And the word of God is life and light. So speak life and light into every dark situation. And I decree and I decree and I declare today that it will manifest itself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father God, I give you praise. Mighty God, I thank you for your words. In the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you, Heavenly Father, for what your words today, O oh God. And I declare, O oh God, every person who are not well in the vessel, who are sick, that healing is coming to their lives because by the stripes of Jesus Christ, I declare that you are healed in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare today by the power of God that healing is coming to your body. Healing is coming to your situation. You are healed and you are not sick. You are alive and you are not dead. I decree that you will proclaim the goodness of God in your life in the name of Jesus. I declare that you will testify of the goodness of God. My God, I declare that the spirit of God is looking Locating you even now uh, in all your helpless situation, uh, your disappointment uh, in every situation you are feeling down and depressed in right now. Uh, I declare that the Spirit of God uh, will lift a standard uh, in your situation uh, and He will 
scatter your enemies. I declare that the gates of hell will not prevail over your life. I declare that whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. I declare today by the power of the almighty God that you there will be a visitation in your house. A visitation of the Holy Ghost and with fire in the name of Jesus. I declare that goodness and mercy will follow you all the days of your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 May the peace of God be with you today. I declare that your better days are ahead of you. I declare that 2020 will be nothing but good to you. I declare for the rest of this year that you will find favor with God and with man. I declare that your giants that you see today, you will not see them again tomorrow. I declare that as you rise in the morning, that the sun will smite your enemies. And as you rest at night, the moon will smite them in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare that stagnant situation is coming alive again. I declare that dryness, dry bones, dead bones, whatever it might be, is coming back alive. The situation that you had, that you are going around the circle for so long, you don't even know what decision to make. I decree that there will be a touch from heaven on your life today. Hallelujah. Somebody give God praise. Somebody give, you need to give God a praise that you have never given before. You need to start to run around your room and declare that you shall receive that which you have declared. Hallelujah. Declare that negative words will not follow you. Mighty God, that the, the, the plans of God will not be frustrated over your life, but you will come into, you will walk in your divine fruitfulness. In the name of Jesus Christ, mighty God, Father and God, as we bring this to an end, mighty God, I thank you. I thank you for your word. I thank you for every listening heart. Father God, I thank you for that, that, that person who is changing their life around right now. That person who is coming in a repentance right now because the words that they've been speaking, it's words of negativity and not positivity over their lives. Oh God, I, I pray right now that as they come to repentance, that mighty God, that you will forgive them. Oh God, Lord God, and they will start afresh. There will be a newness in their lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Mighty God, I pray for every soul, oh God. Lord God, every unsaved right now, let them find salvation. I decree and I declare that salvation will locate their homes right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Father and God, that they will come to you. They will know you as Lord and Savior of their lives, oh mighty God, so that they could, they could, they could, they could establish, oh God, the, the promises that you have placed, oh God, for the believers. They will be established in their lives right now in the name of Jesus Christ, mighty God. I pray that you will move. I pray that you will touch lives. I decree and I declare, oh God, by your powers that you will touch that woman right now. That you will touch that situation right now. You will touch that child right now in the name of Jesus Christ. You will touch brain tumor. You will touch cancer right now by your fire. You will touch, oh God, bankruptcy right now in the name of Jesus Christ. You will touch that person who is depressed. Mighty God who is oppressed. You will touch them and you will lift a standard against the life and scatter the enemies right now in Jesus' mighty name. I decree, I decree, I decree it is established. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Mighty God, I am prophet, Prophetess Amanda Burke, and this is Prophetic Wednesday. And as you look at this video, whether it's at night or at day. I decree that there will be a manifestation of the Most High God in your life. God bless you and the Spirit of God be with you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.